Hey guys, what's up? It's another day in Russia and the house is not as loud anymore and it's kind of sad because my brother left, everyone left, but I still have a couple of clips that I'm gonna show you in this video at the end of the video. Anyways, I thought of taking today and showing you around uh, my parents' apartment and see what they have and explain a couple of things that might be odd for some people that are watching my uh, Russian vlogs. Okay, so we're gonna start with this wall. As you can see, we have a rug on the wall. Um, most of the countries don't do that. I think maybe Middle East does it. Do you guys do? If you from there, tell me. But in Russia, it's pretty common to see uh, rugs on the wall. Or maybe it was common, like back in the 60s and 70s. And my mom, for some reason, just still keeps them around. Maybe it's because they didn't, they don't have it anywhere to put them. I don't know. But she, it's still on the wall. I did my Ask Olga K video, and I explained why people have them on the wall, kind of. But I'm still not sure. Anyways. The other thing my mom does, and she prints all the pictures of me <laughs> and she puts them on the wall. So this is the picture from 2003 uh, when I was young and beautiful. Um, and here's a picture of myself and my ex-boyfriend, this guy. Uh, my mom, I, I, she was so excited about us and uh, she can't let it go. So it's still on her wall. So I'm like, mom, you have to take it off because we're not together anymore. And she's like, but I, but I love him. Uh, so anyway, so it's him and his brother. So she still has it. Um, but hey, if she wants to keep it, that's cool. This is the picture of, of me when I was 19, when I, when I was doing juggling, dancing and modeling. <laughs> And here's a picture of my nephew running around. And this is obviously decorations for the New Year's. And she decorated her already decorated wall. Oh, and then that's my brother and his wife from their wedding. Uh, so yeah, so pretty much my picture's like kind of all over the house. And I have another one uh, up there. This is from 2002 when I was like a baby. Oh, and by the way, uh, I'll, I'll tell you a little more, but here's more pictures. There's uh, me again, and there's my brother when he was little, and then he started eating a lot, and now he's a big, he's a big man now. Uh, I'm kidding. I love him, no matter what, but uh, the other thing about Russia, most of the people, they're not as wealthy as people in America, especially my family. I mean, translating how much money they make here, I don't even know how they survive. They live in a one-bedroom apartment, it's three of them, it's my mom and my dad, and my grandma, who is my mom's mom, and unfortunately she was paralyzed about six or eight years ago, uh, so my mom has been taking care of her ever since, and it's tough, it's like really hard, it's almost like having a baby, but probably worse I don't know um, but anyways uh, the places in Russia are pretty small uh, the old places uh, new places that are building they're pretty big and expensive but if you can't afford them you end up living in a small place like this one and uh, uh, it's really crowded when seven of, us, seven of us were here it was so crowded it was insane anyways not to make this vlog any more boring uh, so my mom has a laundry inside her apartment but it's not the kind of laundry we have in America where we can dry and wash at the same time it's the laundry where you can only wash so you are forced to dry your clothes in a very old-fashioned way like this so it just goes across your apartment and you dry it up and then you do it all over again so yeah as, uh, as I can see my mom doesn't have enough space like my goal is to make a lot of money and buy her an apartment like a newer apartment somewhere in Russia so she can like put all of her CDs and DVDs somewhere so I, I don't see them when I come here or like all these bottles it's just not enough space for anything I don't even know how they make this work my stuff would be everywhere <laughs> oh ooh, the fun part uh, okay so the fun part of this whole thing is you know some people have walking closets in America in Russia they have walking freezers because <laughs> you can go on the balcony and look you can you can freeze your product here boom there. It's just the walk-in freezer. It's cold. And everything keeps fresh out there. So I think I'll put myself out there and keep myself fresh. Also, okay, so I'm gonna finish this vlog because it's getting way too long, but um, in my Ask Olga K video uh, that you're gonna see very soon, I'm giving away this little guy. It's a rabbit. I found him at the Russian store. And he has a flower, and he just looks... Okay, my dad is doing something on the computer. And he just looks really funny, and his name is Fedya. Fancy! 
and uh, he's well, like it says everything is in Russian in here so it would be really fun for those of you who are, who's gonna win this rabbit congratulations and anyways I'm gonna make more vlogs if you guys have if you guys have any questions about anything about Russia if you want to if you want me to show you something go outside you know if, if you want me to film snow leave it in the comments below I'll do that now I have a little more time because since my brother left um, so I have few more days here uh, so leave a comment let me know I love you Moosh, and I'll see you guys soon <laughs> he's been doing that for the last I don't know four hours he's been jumping down <laughs> Смотрите, чтобы голову не отбил только. So we came to a conclusion that we have to, I don't know, put him into some kind of gymnastics right now or something. I don't know. Here he goes again. Here we go. Пап, смотри на ребенка. Пап, смотри. Да смотри. Саша, все, хватит.